have a day off and no idea how to spend it? Well, today on One Day Getaways, we have an itinerary chock full of places just waiting to be explored. From the bottom of the sea <laughs> to the top of the world, we're going flying to thousands of acres of holiday lights. Come along as we cross county and state lines on a one day getaway. Have a few days off for the holiday and need to recharge? Well, on today's episode, we're exploring some places to jumpstart your battery that are all within a day's drive. Now, for our first getaway, we're following in the footsteps of aviation pioneers and seeing what Berks County looks like from 2,500 feet above the ground. In aviation, the time between World War I and World War II is considered the golden age of flying. And when it comes to preserving a piece of the past, you can't do much better than the Golden Age Air Museum in Bethel Township. We purchased this airport in 1996, and the Golden Age Air Museum opened in 1997. But this story dates back to the mid-1980s, when Paul Doherty and his father started collecting and restoring airplanes. We had brought home our fourth airplane, and my family said to us, what are you going to do with all these airplanes? And my father and I looked at each other as kind of a joke, and we said, we're going to start a museum. It took a number of years later, but what began as a family joke has grown into an impressive collection. The Golden Age Air Museum and Airfield sits on 55 acres of land and is home to 30 planes. What's so impressive is that so many of them are still flying. Well, that's the point. You go to a lot of museums and you see a lot of airplanes behind ropes and in, in special lighting and all that. We fly our airplanes and uh, they earn their keep around here. They get dirty. Like this, the 1926 Winstead Special. Well, this Winstead Special is the only one of its type, and it's not a well-known airplane because it's a one-off, but it's historically important because of who designed it. So this plane right here, straight out of the history books, a 1918 Curtis Jenny, and it's a standout in this collection here at the museum and any in the world, because while there were 6,000 made, only 30 still exist, and only 10 of those can still fly. And this is one of them. If you were a pilot in World War I, at least a U.S. pilot, most likely you would have learned to fly in one of the Jennies. Right. After the war, they say they got as cheap as $50, $100 a piece. Yeah. And uh, they would start the barnstorming business and fly around the country, land in a beautiful field like this on a nice afternoon, and, and charge $5 for a ride. But in those days, the one who most often captured the public's eye was the war-trained flyer who took up barnstorming. The collection is a colorful and eccentric ensemble. There's even a rocket bike built for two. This would be perfect for Halloween. And you not only get a look at the pieces from here on the ground, but the more adventurous tourists can see the collection from way above. You can come out and fly two seats uh, side by side. You'll sit in the front, pilot sits in the back. So today, we're calling shotgun on this 1929 Waco 10. This airplane has a distinction of having served continuously from 1929 to present. Before boarding call, were issued a cap, scarf, and glasses. Why are we dressed like this? The uh, World War I pilots would use this to clean the oil off their goggles because of the engines they were flying. Nice. So it serves a purpose and it looks really cool. In order to get off the ground, these planes are built ultra light. Our ride takes us up over 1,000 feet for a bird's eye view of beautiful Lebanon County. It's 
and not too many other ways you can A, see the countryside, you know, you get up in a jet and you'll see the world go by from 35,000 feet, but here you'll see it from 1,000 feet and uh, you can wave to people and they wave back and see things you never imagined existed in the area. When it comes to classic aircrafts, there's flying and then there's flying. And sailing through the sky with the greatest of ease isn't the only thing these planes can do. A few times a year, pilots and daredevils at Golden Age Air put on a show that would make stunt doubles blush. And today, Paul has invited us to go along for a thrill ride. Things are going to get interesting. This is the true barnstorming experience. So extreme, in fact, we couldn't even take a camera along for the ride. But I'm still getting a front row seat with a mind-boggling view. Only this time, I'm issued a parachute. Have you ever had to use the parachute? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Let's yet. hope we don't break your record. We get a safety briefing from the pilot, and then it's up, up, and away. From the ground, it might not look like much, but from 2,500 feet up in the air, every roll, tumble, and loop is an adrenaline rush unlike any other. This is one ride that could make you pass out, but I'm glad I didn't because I would have missed one heck of a show. We went 4G's positive. That was so cool. Yeah. Amazing. You didn't get it real bad, but I wasn't easy on you. You did yeah. good. Both flying experiences are a once in a lifetime fly by the seat of your pants adventure. And starting at under a hundred bucks, this getaway is a great way to revisit the early days of aviation. Now over the winter months, the museum is open by appointment, so you can give them a call or head online to goldenageair.org to schedule a flight for the spring.